to y'all boss my shot by smoker that's broken down the bottom of pasta is good mess on well peace of size they so full like resort so long I am by the crotch out of the camp of S why they ride and need to bring the GMS and the California branch and I was gonna do a quick uh, a quick hitter uh, don't turn away your confidence in the Lord so with that I'm gonna get uh Hebrews 10 35 to 39 and uh and the clip you just saw was a chatter of Mighty Oracle, which is a good lesson and great visuals, you know, give you a um, give you an idea of what the new heavens and earth would be like when this place gets destroyed, when Babylon gets destroyed. So let's get into it. Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of a war. So uh, our so uh, our war for the so so called blacks, Latinos, and American Indians, uh, is Isla, is like men, uh, is like is like beginning with the elect, is like men, is doing the works, preaching the gospel, you know, uh, starting to show that self approve, fellowship with the brothers, keeping the statutes, laws, and commandments to the best of our abilities, keeping the high holy days. Teaching the Lord's people, you know, teaching the Lord's flock to the best of our ability. And now, uh, see this right here, the, the, the name of this video is Heaven's Dinner Table Banquet Invitation. And uh, the, the longer you stay in this truth, it's close to the end, because uh, we're getting close to the end. Uh, Putin just uh, declared U.S. as their enemy for the first time. People are saying that rush that uh, they've been going head to head against each other for a long time but n n like no like first time like like basically they're saying is that we might have a, we might have a problem like we might have to you know go go head to head you know we might have to go head to head against each other you know or go to war which is part of the prophecy for the new heavens and earth to be established you know, you can't have the wicked kingdom, the righteous kingdom coexist. You know, one got to go. You know, that is the wicked kingdom. That's got to go with the so-called America. And you see this picture right here that uh, one of these tables ha might have your name on it. One of these seats ha might have your name on it. So if you're a so-called, so if you're another like so-called black, Latino, and they're making any man, and you're doing the works, then one of these name, then one of these seats can have your name on it. You know, but it's a motivation for you to keep doing it. I'm going to get 36. For ye had need of patience that. So patience is the main virtue that we all need to have, you know. In, in the, it takes too long, you know. But when we get to that point, when we get to that day, man, the day of judgment, when it passes us, passes us it's going to be worth it. All that tribulations, all that hell you gotta go through, it's gonna be worth it, you know. After ye have done the will of Yahweh Bashmel Shai, ye might receive the promise. You know, it was promised through our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and uh, Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, our forefathers. What does it say, like in the book of Genesis 49? When Jacob told his sons the, the prophecy that was going to happen in the latter days, you know, when uh, teaching people on who the Israelites are, you know. So, so we we'll play a little bit more. And see that right there, man? Like, it, it we're not, even, we didn't scratch, we, we're barely scratching the surface. That's how big this truth is, you know. This truth is more precious than anything. This motivates me. I don't know about you, but I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. Uh, verse 37. 
for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. So this so this prophecy is not going to tarry. It's not going to stop. It's not going to pause. It's going to keep going as the days as we're approaching to that final day. Now, the just shall live by faith. So he that live by faith, by unseen. Uh, the scripture said that he that doesn't see but lives by faith. Uh, I'm going to get that low willingly. Uh, huh. Live, now, the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So if you fall out of this truth, man, the Lord's not going to take any pleasures in you. You know what I'm saying? There's a possibility that you can repent, but, like, it depends on the Lord if he wants you back in his truth, you know? So, again, that's why you got to stay being prayed up. You got to examine yourself. Uh, hold on. It's a lot here. Bear with me for a second. If we live by faith, not by sight. <clears throat> Slack you. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Because people are, nowadays people say, I will I believe it when I see it. That's a saying of saying, I believe it when I see it. Well, by the time you see it, you're going to want to believe it. It's going to be too late by then. So that's the whole point, having faith. You know, you having faith is the difference between hope and faith. Faith is you know you're going to make it. You know it's going to happen. You believe in it without doubt. Hope is <clears throat> you're praying for it, but you're not sure if if it's come true. So we pray and hope that we're part of the elect. We're going to know who the elect are. <clears throat> Even if we are, some elect is going to have to become martyrs, you know. Either way, the Lord decides who's going to live and who's going to be destroyed. But it all uh, depends on uh, who's going to take that MOTB on that big day, uh, what I call it the, the final exam. You know, when you're in school, you take the big final exam, you know. You take that final exam to see, like, uh, what, what I mean by that is when that, uh, when that judgment day comes, you know. Martial laws declare they mandate the MOTB with the C hip with corner revelations 13 and 16. Uh, they're gonna, the Lord's gonna see who's gonna take the MOTB and who's not gonna take the MOTB. Now, the ones that's not gonna take the MOTB is gonna have to get beheaded. Salakia, Salakia. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So we believe in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. We believe in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, because they don't want, because only Yahweh Shah Mashiach can save his people beginning with the elect. You know, he is the Savior, salvation, and life. He's the mediator between the Heavenly Father and his people. So again, I recommend you, book, beloved brothers, watch this channel, Mighty Oracle. It's very inspirational, the visual effects, the scriptures. Uh, yeah, it motivates you. So, next time I tune in, I'm going to say shalom.